To get started, you'll need one ball of Karen Simply Soft in persimmon. This is about six ounces, so you can pick any six ounce ball of yarn. Size eight circular needle and size eight double pointed needles or size to obtain gauge, which is listed in the description box. Stitch marker, scissors, tapestry needle. So to get started, you're gonna take a good length of yarn, because we're gonna be casting on 80 stitches. You could do any cast on that you prefer. For this, I'm just gonna do a long tail. So once you have your 80 stitches, you're going to make sure that they're sitting straight on your needles. That there's no twists in them. And you're just going to knit four rounds in stockinette. So we're just going to add our stitch marker and begin knitting. So once we've done our four rows of stockinette, it's time to start our pattern. Now all the information on this pattern will be written in the information box, so you can look ahead to that. And we'll be repeating the chart for the hat five times. So to start, we're going to slip our stitch, and we're knit one. yarn over, knit three, so after you've knitted your three, then you're going to slip the next two stitches together as if you're knitting, then you're going to knit one, and then you're going to pass the slip stitches over the knit stitch. So grab both the stitches and pull them over. Then you're going to knit three, yarn over, and that's a pattern. Then you're going to repeat that all the way across this row. So you start with knit one, yarn over, knit three, then you slip the next two knit the next stitch, pass both slip stitches over, knit three, yarn over, and just continue that all the way across.
So you end the first row with your yarn over. So now the second row, all we do is just knit across. Just one plain row of knits. So after you finish your knit row, pass the slip marker and we do knit two, yarn over, knit two, then slip two stitches, knit the next stitch, pass both slip stitches over and off, then knit two, yarn over, knit one. And that's the pattern for row three. So you're going to continue that. So you start with knit two, yarn over, knit two, slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over and off, knit two, yarn over, knit one. Then you're going to do a plain row of knit again. So now row five, you're going to start with a knit three, yarn over, knit one, slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, knit one, yarn over, knit two. Knit three, yarn over, knit one, slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, knit one, yarn over, knit two. And then follow that with a knit row. So for row seven, you're going to knit four, yarn over, slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, yarn over, knit three. So once you finish row 7 and do row 8 of a plain knit, this should be your pattern. Now you're going to repeat rows 1 through 8 four more times, so a total of five including this. And then we'll come back and do the crown of the hat. So you can click Click right here and it'll go back to row one and you can watch one through eight again until you reach your five repeats of the pattern. Or you can continue watching and see how to shape the crown. So once you've done your five repeats in total of the lace pattern, your hat should look like this. And now we're going to begin decreasing. So slip your marker, 
So the first row in the decrease, I'm going to knit one, yarn over, knit three, Then we're going to do slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, knit three, yarn over, and then repeat. Then you're going to do a plain row of knit. So for row three, we're going to start with a slip two, knit one, slip stitch is over. Then you're going to yarn over knit two, slip two, knit one, pull slip stitches over, knit two, yarn over, and then you're going to repeat. Then for row four, plain row of knit. For row five, I'm going to start with a slip two, knit one, pull slip stitches over, yarn over, knit one, slip two, knit one, pull slip stitches over, knit one, yarn over. Row six is a plain knit row. So now for row seven, start with the slip two. Knit one, pass slip stitches over, yarn over, slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, yarn over. And you just keep repeating that. Now this is probably the row where you're going to be switching to double pointed needles, so make sure you have those around. And when it starts feeling a little tight, then just switch on over to those.
slip two, knit one, pull slip stitches over, yarn over, slip two, knit one, pull slip stitches over, yarn over. Now I'm going to switch to double pointed needles now. So I'm going to put my yarn over on the new needle. Slip two. Knit one. Pull slip stitches over. Yarn over. Slip two. Knit one. Slip stitches over. Yarn over. Just continue that all the way around. So that whole row I was transferring mine to double pointed needles. So now like all the other rows we're going to do a row of just plain knitting. And for this I'm going to take my marker off, knit the first stitch, and then place it in between so that it doesn't keep falling off. So now this row we're going to knit one, then we're going to do our slip two, knit one, pass slip stitches over, all the way around. Knit one, slip two, knit one, Pass slip stitches over. So now next row, just plain knit again. Alright, so now the next and final row, we're going to be doing a slip slip knit decrease. So what you do is slip as if to knit. You can take your stitch marker off now. Slip as if to knit. Then you go with your left needle into the front of the two slip stitches. And then knit them together. And you're going to do that all the way around. So slip, slip, left needle through the front of the slip stitches, and knit. Slip, slip, knit. So that should leave you with eight stitches now. So you're going to cut a length of yarn, not too long. Then you're going to thread it onto a tapestry needle. you're going to pick up those eight stitches and pull tight. Thread the yarn down through the center of your hat. Pull. And then that's the finish of your hat. There's the top of it. 
So now all you have to do is weave in the ends. 